Hello! It's burger time! Not yet, this, this is technically a sausage bap, or a mini sausage bap, but it looks like a burger. That'll do. So, as exciting and unbelievable as this is, I was in a shop earlier, and I saw... Rustler's Burgers. All sorts of ones that I hadn't seen before. Look, this one's new. It's got a sticker that's peeling off and everything. Can I remove it and uh, put it in my new stickers collection? Uh, not quite, it's ripping a bit. Oh well, I'll just stick to the ones I've taken off of apples and bananas then. So, basically, to my mind at least, Rustlers are kind of the highest uh, quality of the microwave burgers. And yeah, there's quite a range of these things out now, so let's have a look at what I bought today. It's Flame Grilled Rustlers Mini Sausage Bap. We actually add your own sauce, I didn't see that, so it doesn't come with any sauce. Well, everyone's got sauces, I suppose, but isn't the point of these everything's in there? Well, there we are. Do you, <laughs> The sausage sandwich question, do you have red sauce, brown sauce, or no sauce at all? The choice is now very much yours. Um, it's probably going to be no sauce at all if you haven't got any, any cupboards. Um, this is actually really small in the packet. I didn't realise that. How much was this? This was a pound. Ah, so it is a sort of budgety one, but... Um, not that any of these things are crazy expensive, generally. But if you look at this, the next one we're looking at, the packet's much smaller. Why is the packet so big for something so small? Odd. I have no answer to this. Anyway, made with 100% British and Irish pork. Heat to enjoy. Keep refrigerated. Keeps quite a while, actually. 5th of November from now. That's about... It's about one and a half Prime Ministers, I think. Brilliant. So, how to cook. Remove burger from the packaging. Good start. Pop the bun in the toaster and the patty in the microwave. Sensible. Heating on full power. Rebuild your burger, add your own sauce, and enjoy. Kind of just realised they've missed out the word eat. You just add your own sauce and enjoy. Just enjoy the smell of it. Mmm, wafting. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to eat it. That's kind of the point. Right. Uh, let's see what we've got inside. I think we've got a pretty good idea, to be brutally honest, from what we can see through the packet. I now can't get the top off at all. It's completely stuck back down. Perfect. There we are. Great. Right. Yep, you've got bread bun and you've got a bit of flat sausage. A sausage that somebody's been sitting on for a while. Looks a bit sort of anemic, but uh, I'm sure it'll be all right when it's heated up. Right, let's jump cut to that. Boom. There we go. So, uh, first thing that became apparent is, yeah, that's a lot smaller than the bun, particularly by the time it's heated. So, mm. Unfortunately, I am not allowed to put any sauce on it. Under review rules, you can only put on what comes with it, and you must put on all the sauces. Those are the rules I just invented. So, um, this is going to be fine, surely. There's really not much to it. I appreciate sort of the quid... Um, basic Billy, well, very Billy basic one, shall we say. The, the uh, super value. The uh, one you kind of wish you'd spend a bit more money on. Anyway, let's give it a bite and see what it's like. Mm. Whole lot of bun. Bun's surprisingly sweet. I suppose it's got a fair bit of sugar in it to keep it fresh for longer. Oh. Mm. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not great, I've got to say. The pork thing doesn't really taste of anything. Hang on. I'm going to get a bit of the pork on its own. Oh. Okay, there's more to it than that. Yeah, there's a yeah, slight porkiness to it. Um, it's a bit sort of sweaty and not... Yeah, it's not that great, this. I think this would be massively improved by some sauce. So if you are going to buy one of these, make sure you've got some sauce in the cupboards. And make sure your cupboards are attached to your wall. Because if not, everything goes all over the floor. It's terrible. Ah, uh, yeah, that's um, not one of the better Rustler's offerings. I wonder if price comes into it there. But yeah, for a pound, that was a bit... Uh, hmm. You know, I'm, I'm definitely getting the... Uh, images of sort of pig's eyelids and uh, anuses and stuff from that. It really doesn't taste like the uh, top quality pork. But then what do you expect? It's a microwave burger you bought for a pound. We're not buying these for Hawk Cuisine. We're buying them to keep in the fridge for emergencies. Or you keep them in the fridge until they're nearly out of date and think, oh, I better eat that now. Right, next up, barbecue rib burger with our smoky barbecue sauce made with 100% British and Irish pork. Oh, same as the last one. So... This looks like one of those longer um, barbecue rib things, which they still do. They had one in the shop, um, but just in a different format, I suppose. How much was this one? Let me check the receipt here. That was 
one pound fifteen. Ooh, so a little bit more expensive. Okay. What's the heating here? Heat for one minute thin, blah blah blah. Pop in the microwave. Oh, this one doesn't say about um toasting the bun. How odd. Okay. Now I have an extreme weakness for these things. There's a combin sort of a combination of the sauce they have on these and the sort of uh, spiciness they put on those. I'm not sure there is any on that. It does look a bit sort of plain, um, which I absolutely love. I just love the sort of tanginess of the sauce. And I know it's bad for you and all that, but oh my God, it sets something off in my brain. I always enjoy them. So I think, assuming this is just a different formatting of the standard rib steaky one, this should be good, surely. I'm sure it would. That, one, that extra 15p for that sauce will make all the difference jump cut. Wow, this looks different to the last one, <laughs> but it is different inside. The patty is square, and I'll tell you what, it may have looked plain, but it's clearly the spiced pork stuff, because um, as soon as I got out of the microwave, you could smell the spiced porky stuff. Mmm. For some reason, the burger uh, bun well, the, just the bun. Let's, let's be very specific on this. Just the bun, which I put in the uh, toaster. It's got a little bit brown this time, and the last one didn't, but I swear they're like the same size, not if they're in the same time. I don't know. The fractal nature of reality. Or something. Right. I hope I know what this is going to be like. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Spiced pork and barbecue sauce. I know it's terrible, but I bloody love it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. I have I've actually done videos and similar types of things like this in the past, but I'm pretty sure rustlers do the best one. The texture is still perhaps slightly more gelatinous than you would want from your pork products, but um, it's fine. You know what you're getting into and blah. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've got to take bites out of a lot of other things today, but I know full well I'm going to put this to one side and eat the whole thing later because I cannot resist the pork goo. Right, <clears throat> they do hot dogs now, look. A classic hot dog, classic hot dog. <laughs> He's always doing it. With tomato ketchup and mild American style mustard. And fried onions. It's not going to have anything to do with onions in it, surely. Serving suggestion, there we are. There's their get out clause. Used by 30th of October, blah, 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 blah. So you've got, oh, you've got your ketchup and your mustard quite clearly in the packet there. There's your bun. Oh, you're not going to be able, unfortunately, to um, toast that unless you, I don't know, cut it in half or something. Then it's going to be difficult to eat the hot dog. God, I did a video years ago on a cheap uh, microwavable hot dog and the bun just kind of fell in half. And then everybody complained at me for cutting the bun in half. I'm like, it just fell in half. You watched it happen. My God, I reckon they had one eye on my videos and one eye on Star Wars Episode Nine: The Hat That Lived. Anyway how to cook. Remove from packaging, pop in the microwave and heat on. Oh, really don't like doing buns in the microwave. They go all spongy. Spongy, I tell you. Uh, 1 minute 40 seconds, 800 watts, stand for 30 seconds, blah blah blah. Right, let's rip the corner off. Uh, let's not, because I uh, can't get to start. There we are. Ooh, came off in one fell swoop. It's been cut in an intriguing... Ma let's put the fox's cock back in the thing. And uh, yeah, that's been cut in an interesting manner, isn't it? Clearly the slicing ninja had been uh, <laughs> overdoing it a bit that day and his arms were tired. Right, I'll put the grease stick of organ back into the... Oh, oh, <laughs> grease stick of organs, actually, would probably be more accurate. Put that back in there, and we'll see how this comes out. Well, there's your new Twitter avatar. So, um, interestingly, the mustard was much thicker than the ketchup. Usually they're about the same consistency, aren't they? But it did not come out like that. But yeah, we got ourselves a sausage of some type in really spongy, moist bread, because this bread just doesn't do well in a microwave, does it? It's really sort of almost damp. Under it is genuinely damp underneath. And I've even um, dabbed it down with the paper towel and stuff to remove excess dampness. It did not fully work. Right. Let's give it a bite. I'm sure it'll be all right. Oh. Oh. Oh, the bread's so chewy and awful. Can't taste anything under the, um, sauces, though. Um. Hmm. 
Still getting a bit of the hot dog. Hot dog's all right. Didn't look particularly nice refrigerated, but yep. Yeah. It's got a decent hot doggy flavour to it. I think if you did actually cut the bun in half, and I know it's a pain in the ass, but if you did that and toast them separately, this would be pretty good. And it was only... Uh, I can't find on the bloody receipt now. Where is it? Hot dog. There it is. pound fifteen again. Ah, not bad for that. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's the whole bread in the microwave thing does just... Oh, God, now it's going kind of hard on top and damp on the... Oh, it's dreadful. But, yeah. I mean, if you could find a way to um, toast it without cutting it in half, that would be perfect. As it is, I think I'm going to have to create my own form of bread glue so that you can cut it in half, toast it, and then stick it back together afterwards. I'm sure bread glue will be a massive success. Cue bankruptcy. Right, enough of that, because now, oh, my friends, we are going deluxe. Whatever that may be. £2.50 for this bad boy, exactly twice as much as the hot dog. It's made with 100% chicken breast, a source of protein. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong, okay. The Southern Fried Chicken Substitute Sandwich. No, wait, it's actually chicken, it's a sub, which is one of those long things, like, like a hot dog, but different. With creamy mayonnaise and no leaves. I mean, they're showing it with leaves, but it ain't gonna have leaves in there. And it comes with a crisping sleeve. Not to be confused with Crispin Glover, which sounds similar, but no, Crisping Sleeve. Right, what's the deal here, folks? Remove from packaging, then insert sub into the Crisping Sleeve. Pop in the microwave and heat on full power, remembering to turn over halfway. Ooh, okay, that's worth remembering. Squeeze over the mayo, then enjoy. Squeeze what over the mayo? Ugh. To grill, place chicken... Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at that, it's so expensive, they're actually saying to grill. We ain't grilling it. We are buying this stuff because we've got no time and we want something quick out of a microwave because we're knackered after work or something. That's the way this stuff works. Chopped and shaped chicken breast with a southern fried breadcrumb croating and a sub roll with a sachet of mayonnaise. Okay, which corner is the loose one? Allegedly this one. Oh yeah, that's working. Oh, a decent amount of chicken in it. I mean, yeah, again, twice as much as the others, so you would expect it to be better, but a lot of mayonnaise. Ah, oh, the crisping sleeve. And... Yeah, it's always, this is a very different form of bread. This is a sort of denser bread. Um, quite, yeah, it seems quite good, actually. Not a terrific amount of chicken, but um, I don't know, imagine what you'd pay for this in a train station. Probably more than buying the fucking train company. Um, yeah, okay, okay. We're going to go by the instructions and see what comes out. Jump the cut! All hail Crispin Glover, I mean Crisper Sleeve. Yes, it's done a great job. This is in no way horribly damp thank you sleeve um yeah if you want to see what it is it's literally just corrugated cardboard with like a sort of uh sort of plastic i was gonna say metally but probably not metally if you're putting it in the microwave some sort of vaguely plasticky reflective surface on it but it did the job well i almost think you should keep one of these in your house and use it on the hot dog as well <laughs> maybe that spoils the hot dog though i don't know but i tell you what i do know this looks fine and i've got to say Often, as you will probably know yourself, when you open the microwave after cooking one of these uh, microwave things, the smell is fairly uh, interesting, shall we say. Unpleasant, possibly, is another way of putting it. This smells quite good. Mmm. So, let's take a bite and then judge it harshly. Mmm. Okay. The coating on the chicken's good. Yeah, a bit of southern fry to it, pleasant. Chicken again. Texture is not amazing. It's a little bit watery, but it's not bad. The bread is fine. I repeat, the bread is fine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like I can, you, it's one of those things. It's twice as much as the last one, but you get more, and it's noticeably better. Yeah, that makes uh, it makes perfect sense for the price. So. That's fine. That's pretty good. If you want a quick chickeny sandwich thing done in the microwave, you could do an awful lot worse. In fact, I'm not entirely sure how you could do better because, um, frankly, the microwave is not the perfect medium for this kind of thing, is it? But um, hey, it does as good a job as you would expect it to be able to do. Ah, oh, thank you, Christmas Leave. Right. <clears throat> We're going all out for the big boy, the deluxe bacon cheeseburger with our signature sauce. I don't know what that means. Signature sauce? I, they have a signature sauce? 
kind of looks like pus. I'm going to assume it isn't. Uh, I'd be very I'd be very surprised if it was, put it that way. Uh, so, this was £2.50 as well. Ooh. Yep, in fact, so was the last one that we haven't gone to yet, but £2.50 it is. There's a slice of cheese, there's all your stuffs, and the actual burger and the, the bacon. You see, bacon's great, as, as is scientifically proven, but it just doesn't do well in the microwave, does it? I think I'd probably prefer it not to be in my microwave burger, frankly, because it just turns into a sort of weird, sweaty mess, as opposed to actual bacon. Uh, as the saying goes, it looks like something you want, but you don't. Yes. On the plus side, surely this is going to be their flagship burger, so it kind of can't be bad, can it? Surely it won't spoil it. Right, how to cook. Remove burger from packaging. Pop the bun in the toaster. Good. And the patty and bacon in the microwave heating on full power. Rebuild your burger. Add a cheese slice for the perfect melt. Squeeze over our signature sauce and enjoy. Mmm. Pop the buns. Okay. We can do this. Uh, let's have a quick look inside before we actually do... Oh. The cookings. Well, more the reheatings, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't, it's just sort of very cold, already cooked slice of bacon, really, isn't it? You would expect, but just uh, not good in the microwave. Beef patty looks looks the part. Bun seems decent. Oh, it's a little bit of escaped bacon there. A slice of American cheese, or whatever that is, the stuff that's like not actually dairy and isn't cheese and isn't American and, I don't know, only exists as part of a mathematical equation or something. And signature sauce. Which kind of does look like something's been pumped out of something, but um, hey, sauces come in all colours. Right, jump cut. Right, top of the line, here we come. Yep, yeah, it's toasted all right. Inside we've got, oh, the other cheese is stuck stuff, we've got the sauce, we've got the bit of bacon, we've got just, mm, I don't know, would you want the burger to be a bit thicker and a bit larger? Well, you probably say that about any burger, but yeah. Okay, this is what our £2.50 gets us, but the question is, what the bloody hell's it taste like? Let's find out using the methodology of eating. Oh. Okay. It's one of those very vinegary sauces. Sort of a Big Mac sauce type thing. The burger texture is pretty good. I was expecting it to be uh, sort of, you know, slightly jilly like, but no, it's good. Apparently I took a bite of the bacon, I can't even tell. The cheese is fine. And yeah, the bacon's a bit kind of nothingy. I don't know, let's take another bite and see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, the burger's adding a little something. And it ain't bad. It's better than I would expect from microwave bacon. Yeah, that's pretty good. I would go as far as to say that is probably the best microwave burger I have ever had. Going to be honest, that is damning it with faint praise, perhaps, because obviously microwave burgers aren't the most amazing of things. But as they go, this wins the prize. It gets a special hat. The hat looks like a sound machine due to an administrative error. Anyway, good work, rustlers. You've made something you can stick in the microwave in a couple of minutes, stick a bit in the toaster, and it comes out. And you know what? It's quite nice. It's not very healthy, blah, 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 etc. But frankly, when you're buying microwave burgers, you don't expect it to be now, do you? And the final item we have today is something I did not expect to exist. Rustler's Pancake Stack! Toast or microwave? Oh, I really want to toast them. We're going to have to microwave them for the benefit of the video, aren't I? All day breakfast. Pancake stack with maple syrup style sauce. Maple syrup style sauce. Oh, good. Great. I went to Canada recently, so now maple syrup style offends me greatly. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, there are three pancakes, American style ones. There's your non maple sauce. Um, Mapel sauce. Uh, one minute, 40 seconds in the microwave. Remove pancakes from packaging. Place the three pancakes on a stack, or as a stack, sorry, on a microwave plate and heat on full power. Toast. Put them in the toast for two or three minutes until golden brown. Oh, I want to toast them, but I know for purposes of review, we're going to have to microwave them. And so, jump cut. 
Yep, that's a stack of things, all right. Unfortunately, dripping with water by the time you've taken them out of the microwave, or well, the bottom one was at least. Oh, never mind. If you have them, you can toast them, and I'm sure they will not get damp then. If they do, they'll probably mess your toaster up. So we've got our maple-style sauce. Uh, if any Canadians are wondering, one of the big differences, apart from the obvious taste thing of maple flavour syrup, is uh, the consistency. It's much thicker than actual maple syrup, and I don't know why that is. I mean, surely you'd make it the same consistency of the thing you're aping. I don't know. Maybe there's reasons. Maybe the... I don't know. The viscosity is copyrighted. <laughs> anyway. Mmm. Slicey. Mmm. Dicey. Right. Let's see what we've got in here. Or more to the point, what's it bloody taste like? Do you know what? Not bad. They've actually come out fine in the microwave. Not sure. I think they could be better, but it's not it's not ruined them or really spoiled them in any major way. Yeah, they've still got a good uh, consistency to them. Uh, or texture, I suppose. Um, the sauce, I and mean, the sauce is pleasant enough. It's not right, but it's pleasant enough. Hmm. Um, yep, perfectly pleasant. And I'm convinced if you stick them in the toaster, they'll be better still. So there we are. I kind of have a feeling you might be able to like buy just like a load of these cheap from a supermarket or something ready-made. Just stick them in the toaster. Is that a thing? And then just have some, you know, syrup with it. Hmm. If that isn't a thing. Um, supermarket people, please do that and then send me all the royalties. I'm sure that's how that works. Right, I'll finally take the taste away of a million different burgers. Mmm. Incredibly sweet. Right, that's your lot then. As I said earlier, those were £2.50 as well. So I went into this uh, basically convinced that rustlers were pretty much the best of the microwave burger things and yeah that's exactly what um, I've discovered really so I've learned nothing actually I have learned something which is that if you do want these things I think the two pound fifty ones are an awful lot better than the one pound or one pound fifteen ones they are literally twice the money but you do get considerably more and they taste an awful lot better so that is our takeaway today Cheap ones aren't as good as the expensive ones. Gee, who could have seen that coming?